Let's get started. Um, welcome to the Statistical Learning Group Interest Meeting, or uh, SLG, or I um, have taken to calling it SLUG, just so it sticks in the brain. Um, I'm glad to see so many people here. This is pretty crazy. I might need to get a bigger room. Um, so you're all here because you're interested in some capacity in statistical learning. It's something that you've heard about all over the place. Um, with machine learning and big data and data mining, it's everywhere. It almost sells itself. Um, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to put a group together where we could learn about these topics and discuss these ideas uh, in a setting that was familiar and comfortable, um, but was also motivated by everyone participating. It's not, you know, come in, sit down, tune out, and, you know, <laughs> watch some Beamer slides, you know, flash by your face and then leave. Um, it's meant to be uh, an environment where we can learn this stuff together because we're all interested in it, and that's exactly why we're here. Um, we have decided, this was uh, spearheaded by Dr. Justin Post in the back, and just <laughs> call him Justin. Um, and then also, we've got some student uh, participation. Myself, uh, Brian Gaines, and uh, Jamie Jackson are also you know, helping set this up and, and, and seeing it through. Um, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to uh, steadily make our way through a very uh, popular and common um, machine learning text, which is the Elements of Statistical Learning. Um, it's written by uh, Hasty, Tibshirani, and Friedman. Um, this is a pretty common text, and the best part about it is it's freely available online, so that's good. And there's also um, an introduction to statistical learning, which has some common authors. Uh, Hasty and Tibshirani are on it, um, two new authors, James and Winton. And this is maybe a little bit lower level, a little bit more accessible. So uh, if you're reading through elements of statistical learning and it's giving you some trouble, uh, you're encouraged to check out Introduction to Statistical Learning and then maybe leapfrog from there into the elements of statistical learning. Um, so both are freely available online, and we're going to select different topics from these books and discuss them. Now the format that we have in mind is that every month would be a different major statistical learning topic. So for example, September is going to be regularization and penalization methods. Uh, October is going to be classification. November is going to be support vector machines. And December we're taking off because of tests and stuff. Um, and then, you know, come January next semester, we don't have, we've got a list of topics. We've got ensemble methods, random forest, neural networks, uh, maybe deep learning if we want to get super far into the statistical learning world. Um, but so this is, uh, this is just the format we thought of, and what we really wanted to do is we wanted to have an emphasis on um, presentation, presentation skills, and um, some sort of uh, concept that you don't get in class. When you're, when you're in class and you give a presentation on a topic, you're talking to other statistics graduate students or other students in your particular field, and it's very, very specialized, and you're not learning to communicate these ideas to an audience that isn't already on the same page as you. You're missing a huge part of working in industry or working on consulting projects, which is communicating these ideas to many different types of audiences. In fact, just this morning, um, many of you have probably heard of, if you've worked in R, um, Hadley Wickham, he works on our studio. He does a whole bunch of R packages. Just this morning, I was eating breakfast and I read this um, article about how is statistics different from data science? And he says one of his uh, gripes with statistics um, is that uh, communication is not a main theme thread of statistics research. And then he doesn't exactly mince words because he says if you attended the JSM, it's easy to come to the conclusion that some academic status statisticians couldn't care less about the communication of results. Um, and he says communication is part of some PhD programs. Um, but it tends to focus on professional communication to other statisticians, and you're not communicating with people who have substantive, substantive expertise in other domains. So that's something that we wanted to emphasize here. We wanted to give these talks to an audience that you normally don't give talks to. And it's great preparation for when you're, again, consulting, or you're in some sort of um, industrial setting where you're not surrounded by statisticians. Um, and so what we thought of was kind of two different types of talks. 
so every month we talked about, so September, regularization and penalization. Um, we'd have three talks in September, and they would be, maybe the first one would be an overview talk, and that's really the main, uh, you're presenting to your boss or somebody that has little to no knowledge in the statistics field, wants to know why we would use it, but maybe doesn't necessarily care about the gears that make it work underneath the hood, you know? Um, so those talks are more just why should you care about regularization and penalization, and where can we go with it, and what situations is it applicable for, and why is it super, super cool, and why are we sitting here learning about it? That's essentially the overview, uh, the purpose of the overview talks. And then the other t talks we thought, so in a month there's three, starts with an overview, and the next two are more technical talks. So we take topics specific to regularization and penalization and give uh, maybe you take like Lasso or something, some big name that you've heard of, and you want to give an in-depth talk on that. It's perfect if you're doing research and your research advisor says, you need to learn support vector machines for blah, 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 blah. You know? Now is your chance to invest yourself in learning it and also invest yourself in communicating those results. Um, and then along with that, we want, so this would you know, up your presentation, up your teaching, we all learn. Um, also, we have a uh, camera in the back, which is recording right now. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, with the presenters okay, we would record these videos and then you have um, something to put on your academic website, something to include in your resume or CV for future employers to see. Not only do I know this topic, here's me giving a talk to an audience about the topic. And ideally, we would also have some sort of um, coding involved in the project that you could also post online so somebody could just download that and replicate your results and then play around with it as much as they want. So this is a big learning environment, learning exercise, but also with an emphasis on teaching and presentation and everything that comes along with that. <laughs>